Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. Well, hopefully you guys saw the video I recently made about the drought here in California. Where's our water going? And despite what all the hype and the media is trying to say about almonds sucking all our water dry, as this graph I showed you guys clearly demonstrates, look at all those orange and yellow lines. Those are the foods that are being grown for animals so we can eat meat and drink milk and the like. You can barely even find almonds. It's fourth line down combined with pistachios. Well, as convincing as that may be, some people, in fact, a few people have written us. Um, rightly so, I would be wondering this too. Is there any real water savings by eating just plants, by going vegan, as opposed to you know being a carnivore, eating animals who were eating plants? Because you know, water's water, plants are plants. Does it really make a difference when all's said and done? Great question. I found out that one quarter pound hamburger requires over 660 gallons of water to produce. Here I've been taking these short showers trying to save water and to find out just eating one one hamburger is the equivalent of showering two entire months. That clip is from Cowspiracy, by the way. Yeah, a quarter pound of beef uses the same amount of water as what you need to shower with for two solid months. Well, is that a lot of water? It sure sounds like it. Well, the only way to really put that in, into perspective is to compare that water usage with how much water you need to make other foods. So here I made this graph here to show how much water you need, how many gallons of water it takes to produce one pound of food. So there we got the beef, uh, roughly, and this is an estimate. I've seen estimates that go higher than 5,000 gallons to make one pound. So I took a, a more conservative one, 3,000. And down on the low end of the graph, let's check that out. Potatoes and bananas, just roughly 30 and 100 gallons? I mean, it's not even close. All right, so naysayers will argue, well, yeah, beef is more calorie dense than any plant. So I adjusted for that in this graph so that all three foods have the same amount of calories. And as you see, even if you raise the amount of water needed to, to produce the bananas and potatoes, still, it's not even close. So yes, this shows for sure, slam dunk, that you will save a lot of water by going to a plant-based, a vegan diet, as opposed to being a carnivore. And speaking of cowspiracy, just go out and rent and buy that DVD if you haven't already. And the filmmaker came to pretty much the same conclusion that I just came to. In fact, let me show you his numbers. A vegan diet produces half as much CO2 as an American omnivore, uses 1 11th the amount of fossil fuels, 1 13th the amount of water, and an 18th of the amount of land. After adding this all up, I realized I had the choice every single day to save over 1,100 gallons of water, 45 pounds of grain, 30 square feet of forested land, the equivalent of 20 pounds of CO2, and one animal's life. So yes, 100% for sure, by switching to a plant-based, to a vegan diet, you'll be using way less water than if you were a carnivore by at least a factor of 10. And as you saw there, you'll be reducing the amount of greenhouse gases uh, being emitted, reduce the amount of rainforest being destroyed. All this just by switching to a plant-based diet, yeah. Um, driving a Chevy Volt and you know taking shorter showers, that'll also do tiny, tiny little things, but none of them are gonna add up enough to save our planet. And this is just what pains me, that the answer is just so obviously clear what needs to be done, but so few people are willing to examine their, their lives and say, oh, maybe I should stop eating this horrible meat, which is also killing me too. So I don't know, I better stop here before I go off on another rant, a really long rant. I'll save that for another video. So share this video with your friends, show them what's really up by, um, by becoming vegan, how you can really make a huge difference uh, as far as the health of yourself and the planet goes. And comment down below here, what do you think about all this whole drought and water usage thing? Um, I think it's pretty clear, absolutely 100% clear, this is the way to do it. Um, like and um, oh, subscribe, that's right up here. It, um, if you're new to this channel to get more from Angie and I here at Happy Healthy Vegan. So until next time, throw that meat stuff away and keep it carved, baby. Keep it carved.
and one of the largest industries on the planet with the biggest environmental impact, trying to keep us in the dark about how it's operating. That's the one thing no one talks about. You know, everybody goes around that. A lot of people just keep their mouths shut because they don't want to be the next one with the bullet to their head.